Hey everybody, welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist. And I'm so excited, we got a new type of jelly paint. I'm just gonna open this up. It comes from Ink Lab Gouache Paint, no fading cup. Mm. And the cool thing about it is, it's quite cheap. <laughs> this box was around 14 pounds, which is probably about $12 maybe, maybe a bit more, um, not including postage and packaging, postage and packaging was just standard, but look guys, it comes in this like honeycomb kind of hexagon, hexagon, is that right, or is it six, what is it, what's the shape, it is a hexagon, I'm smart, I looked it up, okay, so it comes from Ink Lab, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna open these up, Right, first of all, it comes with its own palette, which is super handy. Thanks very much, won't be needing this. And look at these shapes. I don't know why, this is just, this is just very exciting for me <laughs> to have a different shape of design. Look at that, how cool. If two whites, perfect, perfect. I just, I don't know why I have the urge to just take these all out. Also, before I do that, I realised that they come with its own brushes, which is crazy. Um, quite affordable, we'll see how good the brushes are, probably not very good, but, you know, maybe for a beginner this set is great, and if you can't afford very much, you can just try it out. I mean, that's pretty cool, we're going to try them out anyway and see, like, how good it is. But I really want to do this. Look at the colours. I don't know why, but that just really pleases me. So we've got two whites, unless they look a little bit like that one is a bit dimmer. Yeah, so this is zinc white, this is titanium white. So they're two different whites, which to the naked eye, you're probably like, what are you talking about? Those are exactly the same, but this one is slightly more yellowy. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really excited to try them out. Let's test them out and put them back in its honeycomb shell. I don't know if this is triggering anyone's, uh, I don't know what the word is, trypophobia or whatever it is, but let's continue. Okay, let's get going to opening these then, I guess. Always my least favorite job. This is how they're looking. They do have like a bit of oil on the top, but I'm thinking if I just mix them now, that maybe that will just not be too bad. I'm very scared of just completely ruining the aesthetic and putting <laughs> paint outside these cups.
and that's the final painting what do you guys think i think these paints are really nice you can see that they're kind of drying a little bit here so that's kind of strange because the other jelly gouache paints don't really crack like this instantly so i think that maybe there's like some sort of obviously different uh ingredients going on in there but they're really good i thought they were pretty nice they're a little tiny bit tiny bit watery than the other jelly gouache but overall i really like using them and i think they're just fine like worked pretty well opaque when you wanted them to be and watercolory when you wanted them to be watercolory so yeah that's the final look and i hope that you guys like this uh video <laughs> Please let me know in, down in the comments what you think of these and thanks to my patrons again for helping me out. Uh, love you guys and see you next time. Bye!